Hello, this is YouTube 31 Pockets, and I'd like to invite everybody to watch my video on restoring and modifying the John Deere snowblower. We're going to do things step by step as we go. Uh, the machine is an older machine, and it's one of the better choices that I thought was to, to make a, a, a strong and performance machine. So, I guess let's get started, shall we? Okay, in the beginning, this is where we're going to start. This is our 1032 John Deere snowblower. It originally came with a 10 horsepower engine, and it has a cutting path 32 inches wide. Um, I picked this model for this project because of its heavy-duty gear reduction box made out of steel on the front end, where most of the newer models are aluminum. So I thought that would be... Uh, a better choice to use with a, a much stronger performance engine um, to, to install for this this operation here for this um, project. This is 3-1 Pockets back again. We got my now I got my work clothes on and we're getting ready to uh, start working on the uh, this project with the, the John Deere snowblower. Now the first thing we're going to do is repair the bottom of the deck on the on the bottom of this John Deere snowblower. As we can see, somebody had let the scraper bar wear out and kept using the snowblower anyway and wore the bottom of the deck. So the, the scraper bar barely attaches. You can see part of it is eaten right off. So this part of the machine is going to be repaired and replaced. That will be the very first thing we do in the project is to straighten out the bottom part of the deck. Here is our new piece of metal stock that we're going to insert and re-weld back into the deck. And we'll be doing some cutting and getting into this project uh, very shortly here. So I'll take the camera and zoom in on the area where we're going to have to cut off with a cutting torch so you can see it. See, we have a stubborn bolt right there that last one doesn't want to come out so we're going to burn it off with a cutting torch and then we're going to start on our project of repairing the damaged deck you can see in the corner where it's been damaged here at this end and we're going to start straightening, straightening out the metal and replacing the damaged pieces deck the snow cutting head. Um, we're going to do that by removing this bolt right here and we have one on the other side that I'll zoom in on right there and then we have to remove the turret adjustment to swing the front end out. There's a hinge underneath the machine where the front end is mounted on a hinge it'll swing back and then we can get further access to the bottom of the machine to, to repair the metal that has been damaged.
Now we've removed our bad piece of metal and we're getting ready to insert the new piece. Okay, now we've removed our bad piece of metal and we can see we've got it cleaned up ready for to put the new piece in. Okay, now we have our new piece of metal cut and ready to weld in. Um, now we're going to set up the welder and I'll show you how I'm going to weld this in very shortly. But we can see here, it's just sitting here right now. so. Okay, now that we've got the piece of metal set up and the welder set up, we're going to now install and weld it in. And we're going to do that carefully by just making little small spot welds uh, along it in the beginning so we slow down and keep the warpage from happening to the metal. We want to try and keep this as straight as possible, so we're going to be very careful welding this in with a MIG welder. Okay, the new patch has now been installed. It's all welded in. And we're getting ready to flip it over and do a little bit of welding on the inside. And then we're, we'll be done with this part of the deck. This is a 7 horsepower Snow King Tecumseh engine that was similar to the original engine that came on the John Deere 1032 for the size. The 10 horse and the 7 horse are roughly the same size frame even though they are uh, more different in power. It's based on having a larger piston and larger exhaust system to um, create the more power uh, between the sizes. Now we can see on the new engine it's much more larger and by modifying it we're going to add an extra 6 horsepower this new engine is a 16 horsepower so we're going to try and utilize the extra 6 horsepower in pushing the snow out further into the yard and away from the machine everything else should run basically the same on it hopefully when we're done okay now we have our pulleys locked in place and lined up we're going to go to the next step Okay, now we can see the new pulley that we've installed and locked in. We're going to try and use our extra 6 horsepower and move that extra 6 horsepower down towards the auger by enlarging this pulley that we can see on the engine. This is the original factory snowblower pulley and if I put it next to it, you can see that it's roughly about 13 percent bigger. We don't want to go too much more than that. If we go more than that, then we'll lose horsepower that you know we purchased to um, to power up this machine. 